have more new makeup releases. What a shocker, right? Not really. <laughs> I don't have nearly as much as I did, well, I guess kind of, as much as I did last week. But there are a lot of things that are weird, that are really cool and different, and everything in between. If you are just stumbling across this video, please be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single week. I upload usually four to five videos a week, and I talk about all things beauty and commentary, and I'd love for you to join my channel. The first one we are going to talk about today is from ColourPop. They are doing a collaboration with Bratz, which were the dolls that were like, all the Malenzi and Gen Z rage. Um, I was like the only, am I the only one that like wasn't into them? I was more into like American girls. Honestly, this is kind of cute. I remember there were so many girls that were into it. There were like Bratz movies. Like it was a whole thing. <laughs> the collection is out now. It, the full collection does retail for 124 bucks. The Girls Night Out palette retails for 26. There are four lip kits, $14 each. Now I don't really know what comes in them. Okay like a lip pencil and then like a lip kind of click stick or something like that. Two glitterly obsessed glitter gels for $10 each. Two BFF liquid eyeliners, $10 each. Individual hair and face crystals for $10. And so juice and a so juicy plumping lip gloss for $9. I did decide to pass on it just because I... I just like didn't, you know, a lot of times with these collections, I kind of feel like, oh, that's so cute. Or, oh my gosh, I love the color scheme. I want to get that. This one, I was just like, it's mid. Like, it's cute. But it's like, I I just feel like I have enough and I, I don't need it. So I am going to pass on it. But if you did get it, please let me know what you think of it. The next one is from Glamlight. They're doing so many holiday collections, right? This is so creepy in my opinion. I don't like it. This is the Halloween collaboration, like the Michael Myers and Glamlight collection. Honestly, no. <laughs> I'm all about fall and Halloween. Like, sure. Like, I don't love it as much as I love summer, but um, I do like, you know, the cutesy fall, the cutesy Halloween, like, Peanuts Great Pumpkin, like my blanket has right here. Like, I'm like that kind of Halloween person. I don't do horror movies. I don't do that kind of scary stuff. I don't like the, like, energy or anything like that. I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to be scared. <laughs> my real life scares me enough. So in here, we are getting the eyeshadow palette for $34, um, a lip kit for $22, a mask mirror for $26, a 3D lenticular purse for 40 bucks, a highlighter for 18, and then the 3D lenticular PR box is 110 bucks, and then the four item bundle is $94. The knife mirror, <laughs> jeez, that just looks like, the knife mirror is 22, 22 bucks. Honestly, I don't need this. It's creepy, it's weird, and I would rather have something that is more chill more fun, more cutesy. The next one here, I don't know this collaboration, but Fenty Beauty is collaborating with Arcane, Archon. Apparently it's a Netflix series. Unfortunately, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. Don't hate me in the comments. Some people like it really weird if I like don't know about something. This is a China exclusive, but I do want to go over it because this is just the same products that we know and love from Fenty just in different packaging, which I feel like that's such a missed opportunity. Like when Charlotte Tilbury collaborated with Disney, like it was all the same stuff. It just had freaking Tinkerbell on the packaging. I think they could have done a lot with this just based on the packaging. It's so beautiful. They could have done something more. Yeah, it's just not available to us. <laughs> in the United States, I should say. All right, next, Touchland is collaborating with Hello Kitty. I feel like everyone is right now because it is Hello Kitty's 50th anniversary. This is really cute. It's the Berry Bliss hand sanitizer, which is already like sent from them, but then it just has like a Hello Kitty face on it and a case. Okay, they have top heart and base notes for hand sanitizer. What? That's, ro that's ridiculous. Okay, this is a really nice hand sanitizer. Like, you know, it doesn't really dry out your hands. It has aloe vera and whatnot. But for me, my guess is that's gonna be around like 16 bucks. Don't spend $16 on a hand sanitizer, okay? I have Touchland hand sanitizer. I'm here to tell you 
it's not worth it. You can get Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. They're $1.95. You can get them for six for ten. You can do all that. Yeah, that's maybe expensive, but they have a lot of different fun scents. What you don't need are these okay yes this is so cute but just go to tj maxx they have a ton of hello kitty stuff um you don't need this next makeup by mario announced their holiday collection this is really cute comes out october 15th um they have the ethereal eyes moonlight eyeshadow palettes lots of cool tones lots of beautiful for like new years and stuff we also have the mini sculpt and pop on the go mini sets a mini contour and blush sticks now this is really cute because they have a light medium a dark and then a medium really cute that's not going to be inclusive of everyone i'm gonna say it here first just by looking at the dark that's not inclusive but i think they were there but they missed the point because we still want to be inclusive my hair is bothering me so much today i'm sorry um, this is just missed the mark like they were like halfway there they could have done like six instead of three and they could have like you know light medium medium dark deep dark and deep you know something like that in order to better accommodate people i think they could have done something like that this is just not it i don't i'm not gonna buy any of these i just don't need them no hate to makeup by mario just don't need them all right naturium has come out with a new lip balm collection this is the phyto glow moody collection very vampy for fall and winter so we're getting a ruby red in the shade ruby crimson which is a black cherry and midnight which is a neutral light brown these are really pretty um i would say these are more like lip glosses than lip balms though they are more thick honestly there i i probably am just gonna pass on it because i don't need it it is really cute that they come out with like different collections um that's really fun they are ten dollars each or you can get them on the naturium site for $25.50 as a bundle next we have two patrick ta holiday sets these are the major volume plumping gloss duos and these are really cute Okay, they're $39 each. Looks like we're getting some different shades in here. Like the top right one has like a hot pink and then like a warmer red. And then we have the bottom left, which has like more of like a baby pink, almost like a lilac pink. And then like another like deep red. This is cute. I'm probably not gonna get these though. They were like the major glow lip shines. Yes. But I'm always so hit and miss on like these these plumping lip thing lip glosses. I have one of them, I think in two cc's from Patrick Ta. It's good, but it's intense. So I'm probably just gonna pass on it. Next, this is from e.l.f. I'm super pumped about this. This is the Glow Reviver Quad Goals Lip Oil Kit. It's coming to Ulta on October 15th, Target on October 10th. It's gonna be all over the place, okay? You're in here for $32. You're getting a set of four lip oils. You are getting the shade Pink Quartz, which I love. Same with Rose Envy. Those are two of my all-time favorites. I love them. Jam Session, which I don't have. And also you're getting, what is this called? This is an exclusive glimmer shade in the shade Crystal Baller. This is so cute, okay? I want this so bad. Um, this is a really cute gift set. If you have a makeup lover in your life, I think this is really nice. And I definitely want this. All right, Sniff is coming out with a new perfume. This is Honey Sweet. And I am loving the honeycomb scent from Bath & Body Works right now. So I saw this and I was like, ooh. This, the notes in here um, are crystallized honey, Broom Absolute, Lavender Flower, Incense, Havana Wood, and Vanilla Bourbon. This looks like totally up my alley. Plus, the bottle is like so cute. I'm trying to think. Is Sniff sold at Sephora? Because if so, I've... T oh, they're available at Ulta. Okay, so I've 100% smelled some products from them before. They are so good. I really want to smell this. Okay, I don't blind buy perfumes, but I want to smell it. <laughs> Next, House Labs has announced their holiday sets. They have a new blush set that really seems to be fairly universal, which is crazy. <laughs> this has the Color Fuse Glassy Balm Stick 
and the powder blush. So it has two full-size best-selling pink blushes, one powder and one balm. Um, the highlighted ingredients in here are fermented arnica, which reduces redness and irritation, has goji berry complex and fermented shiunko, which supports collagen synthesis and antioxidant protection. It's vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free, which always a plus. So you are getting the blush color in the shade Hibiscus Haze, which is a mauve pink. And then you're getting the blush balm in Glassy Pattaya. I want this because I've been really wanting to try the blush balms. I've been wanting to try more products from House Labs in general, so I'm really curious about this. This is a hard maybe on my list. OPI has announced they're coming out with a new nail polish formula. This is the Rapid Dry Quick Dry Nail Lacquers. This is so cool because I am really bad at painting my nails and a lot of the times I'll put on like just press on nails because let's be real. Going to the nail salon is so expensive nowadays. This says it has smudge proof nails in 60 seconds. Um, two coats delivers five days of wear, dries quick, thanks to the built-in drip dry drops. It ha there's a bunch of different colors too, and it's $9.99. A lot of these OPI nail polishes are getting up there in price, like $11.99 and $12.99. So nice to see it at that price. Very pretty. I don't know if these are, sh I'm not like dye, I don't know every shade from PI, so I don't know if these are shades that have already come out with them or what. But I am really curious about these and they're definitely on my list. Right, Ariana Grande is coming out with a perfume vault, which we usually see Ariana Grande fragrances do this every year. But they said, especially this year, you are getting exclusive perfumes that can only be found in the set. And these are little like dabber perfumes. You know, they're like in the miniature bottles. So we're getting Ari by Ariana Grande, Sweet Light Candy, Frankie, which is new and probably exclusive. We have Moonlight. Gosh, I don't think that one is one either because I've never heard of that one. Cloud and Cloud 2.0. I've heard of those. Thank You Next and REM. Yes, God is a Woman. Mod Ma Vanilla and Mod Blush. Those are all ones we have seen before. And then we're also getting Cloud Pink which we have seen before. So it's 150 bucks though. I, I can see the price on that, but like I also can't see the price on that. Um, if you're a fragrance collector, you're an Ariana Grande fan, yeah, maybe. I just can't see myself spending that kind of money, so I'm probably gonna pass. Lastly, NYX is coming out with the with a new brow pencil. This is the Blade and Shade Brow Pencil. So really cool. This is a dual-ended brow pencil for precisely filled and naturally shaded eyebrows. Creates blade-thin, hair-like strokes, and a natural shaded fill. This is smudge and transfer resistant, and the eyebrow filler formula is available in 12 shades. It's 12 bucks. This is really cool. I'm definitely down to try this, but like usually I use like Morphe or e.l.f. for my brows and those are like really cheap compared to this. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, that's kind of expensive for a brow pencil. But like I also will definitely splurge on an Anastasia brow pencil every now and again. So I'm interested in this. Those are all the new makeup releases for the past week. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, what you're buying right now, what you're not buying. Let me know what you think and I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye!